Hello, this video is about how to use a Windows computer to easily check a file download to make sure it's not corrupted. In my case I'm using the Kali Linux file because I've had a lot of comments on my YouTube site from individuals who seem to have a problem with corrupted download. The outcomes would be to download and install Microsoft File Checksum Integrity Verifier then I'll edit the path statement so I can use it in any directory from the command line. I'm going to save the file checksum. In my case, I'm going to download a Linux 32-bit ISO file, and I'm going to save it in Notepad. Download a file, Kali Linux 32-bit. You can use a different file. You simply have to make the checksum match the file download. Then I'm going to use the Microsoft File Checksum Integrity Verifier tool to obtain the checksum of the downloaded file. And then write a short if-else statement to compare the checksums. Requirements would be a Windows computer with administrative privileges. I use Windows 7 and an internet connection. And here's some additional info. This is where you get the File Checksum Integrity Verifier download page and then the Kali Linux download page and here's something about using the if else command and then I've got a YouTube video here about how to do it in Linux if you wish disclaimer while I have researched this material I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out so I always include a disclaimer the first step in uh, verifying a file checksum is to obtain a tool that will create the checksum for a file you downloaded or will be downloading. In this case I'm picking Microsoft File Checksum Integrity Verifier even though it's non-supported command line utility that computes MD5 or SHA1 hashes. It's still from Microsoft so it should be okay and you've got details, system requirements, install instructions and related resources if you need some more information. So I'm going to click on download and I'm going to say save as. In my case I put everything in downloads directory and right here I'm going to create a new folder for it and I'm going to call it folder ms file check some verifier open it up and click save and that's all there is to download it so the next step would be to install it I'm going to minimize Internet Explorer because I'm going to need that to download the Kali Linux file later and here it is I simply right click and run as administrator and click yes and it will install it and ask for user authentication and I'm actually going to put it right here in this directory so that I know where it is. Click on Browse. And Downloads. You can put it wherever you wish. And click OK. Click OK. Extraction complete. And right there it is. Got a README file that gives you directions on how to use this. But I'm going to demonstrate that and it's called FCIV works from the DOS prompt but first before I do anything else I want to change the path directory so if I go to the command prompt type in FCIV I'll get a statement saying it's not recognized an internal or external command and if I do a path there's no path to it so what I'm going to have to do is edit the path statement so that it will go to downloads ms file checksum verifier basically I'm going to go to start computer right click properties advanced system settings environmental variables and come down here where it says path and click on edit and what I have to end to the path statement is this directory right here. C, 
well before I add another one I need to put in a semicolon then a C colon backslash downloads backslash MS file checksum verifier make sure that whoops there if fire make sure that everything is spelled correctly otherwise this is not going to work I've got C colon backslash downloads backslash MS file check some verifier click OK click OK and then click OK so before I can use it I need to exit here then I'm going to go back to my command prompt and then I'm going to FCIV and so now it's working before I can use the Microsoft file checksum integrity verifier I need to download a file and the checksum here I am at the Kali Linux download page and I'm going to download Kali Linux 32-bit ISO and the reason I'm picking 32-bit is because I only have a 32-bit Windows 7 machine here and before I download I'm going to get the checksum SHA1 checksum and I'm going to copy it and we'll make sure I don't pick up an extra space or something here copy and then I'm going to save it in notepad I need to use notepad not word or another program because words add some additional formatting commands that you really can't see inside of a word document so I go to all programs accessory notepad and I simply paste it here I'm gonna put a star at the end of it just to let me know that okay that's the end of it when I copy and paste it in the future I won't have to uh, worry about the white space I'm gonna to go to file save as and the place where I want to save it is the same place where I'm going to download the Kali Linux file so I go to local disk downloads and let me make a directory here and simply call it Kali Linux and if I want to I can say 32-bit or 64-bit but I'm just Kali Linux here and open the Kali Linux folder and I'm gonna call it checksum and text is just fine and click save and we'll go file exit for now and so with the 32-bit ISO I'm going to pick direct and ISO instead of torrent if you have torrent you can go ahead and use that so I click ISO and here it is do you want to open or save it and I'm going to pick save and I'm going to click save as I'm going to go to downloads and then Kali Linux and click save now you notice right here it says two hours and 27 minutes and 30 minutes remaining so it's a long download I'm going to come back when it's fully downloaded and then we'll work on the checksum okay it's been a couple hours since I started the download and now I've got uh, looks like 12 seconds remaining So finally I've got one second remaining on the Kali Linux I guess it's downloaded but let's verify that it's downloaded and that would be in downloads Kali Linux and there it is okay I've downloaded the Microsoft file verify check tool and Kali Linux so now I'm ready to verify the checksum do a CD and go to the downloads directory on where I've downloaded it you may have a different place where you've downloaded it and then I'm going to do a DIR and I'm going to go to the Kali Linux directory and then do a DIR again and here I've got both the checksum text file that I've saved the checksum in and then the Kali Linux download so in order to create the checksum for the Kali Linux download I use FCIV dash 
SHA1 and then Kali Linux and this is going to take a bottle a minute or two. So now you see checksum has been created by the tool, by the Microsoft tool, but that's not going to do us any good because I can't sit here and copy and paste it from my MS-DOS prompt. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that and append it to the checksum.txt file and that's what those double arrows are. And again, you see that nothing seems to be happening, but the reason I did the first check just to show you that it works, because you're going to be sitting here for about two minutes before anything is written into the checksum.txt file. So now, when the command line comes back up, it's ready to go. So I'm going to go now, I'm going to open up Notepad, Accessories, Notepad, and I'm going to File, Open, and here it is in that Cali Linux directory, Checksum, Open, and you'll notice that here's the original file that came, and here's the updated file. Now you can compare them up and down here if you want, or you could do what I like to do is use the MS-DOS prompt to compare it. So I say if slash I, which would mean basically ignore case, even though both of these have the same case, it may not always be the same. So I'm going to copy, paste, and this only works for text strings in MS-DOS, equal, equal. Copy, paste, these are the parentheses, just your basic parentheses, which in the US keyboard is above the 9 and the 0. And I'm going to say echo match, so if those are the same, it's going to come out and say match, else echo no match and echo will just bring it out to the screen just hit enter and it says a match now if you don't believe me you can check it yourself here and let me change oh let's just change one of these there's EF and we'll change that to DF and then hit enter and so it says no match and that's how you would verify a downloaded file checksum using a Windows computer. I also have one on how to do a Linux computer, but that's another video. Thank you.